Okay, so what we're going to continue with is we're going to continue on creating and adding the topper curve elevation. Now, I will tell you this, uh, I'm producing this video on uh, April of 2021, and maybe by the time you're watching this video, I came up with a better way of, of uh, making this uh, change or, or adding to the to the style, but there is one thing that I, I still can't figure out how to do as of today, April 2021. And like I said, maybe in the near future, I'll figure out how to fix this one little thing, but it's, it's just going to be adding a line that, that's missing. But nonetheless, let me just kind of continue with what we have for today. That way we'll be able to finish up this assignment um, and uh, get it done, you know, as, as close as we can to this uh, spot elevation, the look of it. Okay. So to add the topper curve, what's going to happen is we need to add some additional expressions. So I'm going to go to the settings um, uh, surface, and then we're going to go to the surface uh, la uh, surface label styles, specifically spot elevation, and then the expression. So you'll see the one that we created earlier on the last video. So now there's going to be two expressions I'm going to have to create. Uh, again, it's a little bit of programming, but they are going to be attached to the description of this uh, video. That way you can just literally copy and paste a little code um, that you're going to need to be able to add the topper curve. So we need to create those expressions first. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this one PC XX.00. And just the way that I'm thinking how I'm going to do this, there's more than one way, obviously, but that's just the way I'm going to name it. And then the expression I'm going to uh, have you uh, give you is this expression right in here, just all this coding and parentheses and stuff. Don't forget to change this to be uh, the result as an elevation. And then that's one of two. So we actually do need two separate expressions for the topper curve. So we're going to leave this one here. Notice the one thing that I'm doing is I'm adding a 0.5. We're going to just take the gutter elevation and add 0.5 for the six inch curb. So we have, a, in your, for your reference, if we ever have a curve that's taller than six inches, and they do exist, not on this project, but in other projects, make sure that we understand that this expression would have to be edited for that reason. Okay, so we have that expression, and then I'm going to make another expression. So I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to call this one PC. This is going to be 00.xx, okay? And then this expression, um, I'll, I'll also put it in the des um, description of this video. And then that's what we're going to type in for this one. Basically, just taking the surface elevation at that point, and I'll be adding 6 inches also as an elevation and hit OK. Okay, so now we have those two separate expressions that we're going to use to add to our label. So for the label properties, we're going to go edit, edit label style, <clears throat> edit the same spot elevation um, style. And then one thing that I was experimenting with is for the topper curve, I made it into another um, I made it into another um, component. So I added another component <coughs> before and trying to add the little line, but that's not working for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that code for this one. I'm just going to add it within this text, uh, within the, the label itself. So in here, I'm going to put in the TC and then an enter. That way the TC will be above the GT, pretty much how it is in our style. So this is the way I'm going to do it here, even though I suspect that we would have to add another component specifically for the topper curve. That way I can stack one box on top of the other uh, to make it look better than what I'm about to do right now, even though this will be good enough for what we need. But I, 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 there, there, there is a better way. I just can't figure it out uh, as of now. Uh, but, but if I do figure it out, I'll, I'll recreate this video in the future. Okay, so then the um, what we're going to add in here as far as our uh, properties. So under TC, I'm going to put a space. The one I'm going to work with first is this, this one right in here, the TCXX00. I'm going to add that component in there, or the property, change that precision to two decimal places. And I'm going to, once again, truncate that, um, that number and output to right of decimal. Okay, so that's the one I'm going to input right in here. Once again, I'm going to put a dot. And then the other one I'm going to put is the TC00XX, that one right in there. And then for that one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round normal, uh, two decimal places. That one will be round normal. And then I'll put also right of decimal and insert that code. So we'll have this first code here.
Two decimal places truncate right of decimal for the TCXX00. We're going to put a little decimal point between the two, just a little dot. And then we're going to have the TC00XX uh, uh, property. Same thing, zero one of 0 0.01 decimals or two decimal places to the right, round normal and right of decimal. Okay. And then after that, this is an enter. So you can stack the TC on top of GT. Hit OK. Apply, hit OK, hit OK. Very good. So that's the best I can do as far as our spot elevation. It, will, it is functioning. It is functioning that if I move it around, you can kind of see that the topper curve and the gutter are 0.5 away from each other. So it is working the way it should. The thing, though, that's really just not working is that one line right in here. That one line right in here is just not in here. And like I said, I suspect that... To do that, I suspect that we would have to probably do this whole thing as two separate components where we would have to uh, add another one and then on that other one, make the adjustments and everything. So I'll have two separate boxes. That's what I suspect, but I just haven't been able to figure it out as of today. But this will work for the assignment for now. But, but again, those are all the little settings that we can do. Worst case, I could come back and draw myself a little line right in here, just using the line command. But uh, it's just too much. I think at this point, well, I'm happy with this for our um, project. And then you'll just be taking the spot elevation and placing it in whatever location you need it. And um, like I said, you can just copy this one right in here and place it in different locations. You can uh, grip it and move it into the, the right place. For now, since I'm copying it, it's still linked to the same surface. So you're just going to start putting it in here and then move it into place and just make it look nice. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the topper curve portion of the spot elevation style. Like I said, that style gets pretty close and matching what the engineer wants. The only thing that we're missing is just that little one line, which is going to bug me a lot. But for now, this will work. That way we can just continue and finish our project on time. But that's the one line that I would have to figure out, hopefully in the near future, on how to do the topper curve label. Um, how to add the topper curb uh, elevation to our label style. And then that's how we're going to start working with this one. Okay. So um, at this point, we'll go ahead and take the time to start putting in the rest of our topper curves. We don't need to see the feature lines in the final grading plan. So we're going to go ahead and freeze the feature lines. I brought them up just for reference. If anything, maybe just to show you before I end this video, is the gutter elevation here is 0.5. If I ID the end point of this feature line, it's indeed... Um, for uh, 4.4975, or I can do the uh, elevation editor, the quick elevation editor, and you can kind of see that that point right there is exactly 449 or 450. The gutter here should be 551, and that's exactly what it is. So it is reading, and then if I go over here to the top of curb, 601. Perfect. So this is working exactly. So it might not be a bad idea to verify that. Once again, these are already linked to the um, proposed ground surface. So you can kind of see that it's reading the proposed ground surface. So just verify that you can copy this into different places or don't forget that you can come back and to, uh, um, well, it wouldn't be in here. So I guess you would have to go to the annotate, add notes and leave this out for the surfaces, spot elevation. And then that way you'll see that spot elevation that you can go ahead and add and then select the surface, proposed ground, and then you can just basically place the spot elevation. And then right now, this is not in the drag uh, state. It's not until you drag it out. Then it'll add the dot for us. Or like I said, you can copy it around. But once again, it's already reading the information of the surface. So you can go ahead and put spot elevations. Where are we going to place them? Don't forget. Let me go ahead and turn off the uh, feature lines. Don't forget that as far as spot elevations, where are we going to place them? We're going to place them in different locations. Um, I never heard of any engineer or co uh, um, contractor tell me that we have too many spot elevations. So, or, so the more the better. Usually the complaint is we do not have enough spot elevations. So where are we going to place spot elevations? Usually at every curb return. So we'll put one here, one here, one here, uh, one at this point. So basically at every return of the curb is usually where we place spot elevations. So you can kind of see that we'll have them really in different locations. And... Um, that's basically the construction document. We'll have one here, one here, at every little corner and every return. Here on the island, we actually have 
several spots you really should put one here one here one here and one here you really should like i said i've never heard of a contractor tell me we have too many spot elevations i have heard the contrary where we do not have enough spot elevations so you can kind of see it's very critical so we need to put all these spot elevations throughout the site and make sure that we have enough spot elevations so that um, there's a, a definite distinction on where to put all our spot elevations um, and I also give you a, a, a little block to insert for our um, finished floor of the building. 